I've got to give a big thank you to the awesome folks over at Gravitas Ventures for today's early screener of the Harrisville Haunting The Real Conjuring House which is available on demand on October 18th. I didn't really know much about this film going into it, however is it worth your time? Well let's talk about it. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this review. My name is Mike, my channel's called Did You See That? And if you're brand new, all I ask is to press the red subscribe button. So this movie, The Harrisville Haunting, The Real Conjuring House, was quite interesting because if, like me, I've seen The Conjuring movies. So I like the first two, the third one we don't really talk about here on the channel. But regardless of that, I was intrigued as to how this movie documentary was going to tackle this subject and what they're going to bring to the table. So I've got a list here of the actors that's in this movie and we've got Matt Benton, Joe Vitale, Bill Cook and Eric Connor. And this is directed by Matt Benton also, who also writes the movie along with Tanya LaForce West. So the plot of the Harrisville haunt in the real Conjuring house is all around these four researchers and YouTubers who basically go to the Harrisville house to investigate kind of the going-ons that really help to inspire the movie The Conjuring. So again, I was very intrigued to check this movie out. I hadn't seen any trailers. I saw one movie poster that I was sent part of the early screener. And what can I honestly say about this movie? Well, it wasn't really for me. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. Again, this is all just my take. This movie documentary may be the perfect thing for you. But for me, not so much. So the positives I can give this is I was intrigued by the premise. I was intrigued by, okay, well, how is this going to really play out? And it's just over two hour runtime, but it's more like hour 59 with like six minutes of credits or so, I would say. But I was still intrigued as to how it was going to play out. I like the fact that it was going to be, you know, researchers and YouTubers and that kind of like um, social media aspect of how they were going to approach what the findings are, if there is any in this Harrisville house. Like myself right now. I mean, YouTube, you know, so I was very intrigued how they're going to play that out. At times, cinematography is pretty cool. Of course, you've got some kind of POV shots here. You've got some kind of found footage elements, but then you've got like the other aspect where it's just, you know, normal camera where, you know, it's directing just the people doing whatever they're doing kind of thing. So again, I can appreciate some of the effort and work that's been put in here because this has won quite a few awards. So I just want to congratulate Matt Benton on that and achieving that feat because that is pretty darn impressive. I think for me, in terms of kind of where the negatives lie in and why it's not so much for me, is because I felt at times the movie was a little bit too long. I think it definitely could have been shortened down a little bit, had a little bit more interest here. They also do include some archival footage of Ed and Lorraine Warren, which is cool and all, don't get me wrong. Obviously, again, if you've seen like the Conjuring movies, you're going to know who they are by now. If someone is brand new here, they can kind of get like a first-hand experience. So I can appreciate why it was put in. I don't think it was really needed to be put in here, being honest with you. And I think that could have really trimmed the runtime down. And the reason I say that is because, again, whether you are brand new to the Conjuring universe or whether this is kind of like an introduction into the Conjuring itself for you, is, of course, Ed and Lorraine Warren are a huge fact of that. But I was more interested about the paranormal and the YouTubers element of them to go explore this house and seeing like archival footage really but again that's just my own personal take i also found that the audio at times and odd little sections here was a little bit inconsistent so overall my thoughts for this movie is there's times i had fun with it for sure but ultimately it just didn't work for myself personally but i want to hear from you did you enjoy this movie documentary were you not really a fan of it leave any and all comments down below as for my score for the harrisville haunt and the real conjuring house is 
So thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And do you know that I have a Patreon? For only £2 per month, you get access to early videos. You get my weekly release schedule so you know exactly what's going on the channel before anyone else. You get two times entries into competitions. And you even get a say of what comes onto the channel and gets you help to decide some weekly live streams. Also as part of that, which is really cool. And I'm going to give you a big special shout out to anyone who does support my Patreon and who really helps support this channel. So... The link is down below if you do want to join. And thank you so much for checking out this video. Until the next time, I see you. Abby Zine. You later.